insecure I would be, you'd be amazed. But I just trust God. And Sunday mornings when I have my breakfast and I have my devotional book out and I read, usually God sends me some affirmation about my call, about my sermon that day, whatever it is. So when I come into the pulpit, I don't come in as Wayne Fulmer, I come in as a man of God to speak forth the message. I am not perfect, I've got my shortcomings, but my God is perfect, and his grace is sufficient, and he always supplies the need. Through every hard place, every difficult place, he has always been there. And I just want to tell you, in thinking about retirement, I don't know how many of you retired or have gone through that experience. But when you get older, you, you don't hear as well. You don't remember as well. I missed a very important appointment today with our new pastor that I had scheduled just to show you. I had three things to do today, and, I, and this thing was on my mind how I was going to fool Janet, and I forgot this other appointment. But when, that's thing, when those things start happening, you really start becoming, have feelings of insecurity. And there needs to be a change, and there needs to be new leadership, and there needs to be younger leadership. Uh, I'm happy to stick around forever if it works out that way. But I'm just saying that it's such a privilege to serve people like my son said. Every Christmas, every birthday, you never... There were times I didn't know how we would get any kind of a Christmas gift, and yet they'd pull us up here and give us a wonderful check so we could give our kids a wonderful Christmas. They never missed anything. And the board and the leadership over the years, you know what? Anytime my son was playing Little League, anytime my daughter was involved in a swim meet or whatever it was, they never hindered me from going. We have actually canceled, canceled board meetings so that I could be with my kids. And that's why they love the church. That's why they love the Lord. And Wayne is so right. You are the people who did that, not me. You know, I've had my ups and downs as a father, but you loved my kids, you loved us, and my kids have loved the church. And that isn't always true with pastors' kids. But I just want to thank you for it. And you know what? Sitting back there is the net. There were times in the early years where I just hid out. It was such a big job to have this church, at least for me. And I would go to Annette's house and sit on the floor in her living room with some of her kids and eat ice cream and popcorn. And no one knew I was there. We didn't have cell phones, so no one could reach me. But uh, it's, it's been a great ride, and I'm looking forward to it. This, this just kind of is the cherry on top of it all. A wonderful response. I can't believe people come like Puckets and Mies and, and uh, just the wonderful celebration we've had here tonight. I will never forget it. I thank you for it.